Hey guys, it's Warren here and I'm back with another WhatsApp tutorial video. So a couple of weeks ago, I taught you guys on how to transfer WhatsApp text and data from your iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy phone. So a lot of you guys managed to make it, but many of you guys didn't make it as well because probably you do not own a Samsung device or you probably just can get that transfer process over. So yeah, it is a pretty complicated process. I have to admit that, but here's a better solution. So I went and look out for a better app out there and it's called Mobile Trans by this company called Wondershare. So Wondershare has been very kind to sponsor me a license to do this video and I'm going to show you guys on how to do it because I've managed to do a one-time transfer successfully over from my Android phone over to an iOS device. So without further ado, we are going to just start off with this video and tell you guys on how to do it with Mobile Trans. We've added a whole lot of things to Good Deals by KLGG, such as bags, smart locks, audio gear, and more. Shop now and check out with Atomi and IOU Pay 0% installment from 50 ringgit and get 10 ringgit off your first purchase with minimum 100 ringgit spend. Visit Good Deals by KLGG in the link below. Now, before I kick off the transfer process, here are a couple of things that I will need to do. Now, on my Android phone here, I just need to make sure that I back up all my latest WhatsApp chat all over to Google Drive, and next, on your iPhone, make sure you delete any existing WhatsApp data right in your iCloud. That is to prevent any possible conflicts that's going to happen during the transfer process. But this technically should not happen because um, if you use the Mobile Trans app to transfer WhatsApp data over from an Android to iOS device, you will not get any of the previous data. So make sure you do not have any old text or anything that you want to find because it is going to replace all of your existing text, whether you're going to transfer WhatsApp data from your Android phone to iPhone or iPhone back to your Android phone. All right, so over on WhatsApp Messenger in iCloud here, I'm going to tap the delete data right over here because I have some old data on my iPhone. And now let's kick off the transfer process. Okay, so let's plug in the cables of the phones here. So I have two USB cables right over here. So I'm going to plug in one side on the right side of the laptop and the other one it is a type c cable onto the left side of my laptop here all right so first of all i'm going to plug into the iphone just like this so make sure you use an mfi cable don't use any cheap cables out there because it might potentially affect the data transfer so once you see this pop up as usual tap allow and there's going to be a couple of pop-ups right after, but uh, let's do that later and now i'm going to connect my android for the x70 pro and there we go, it's connected already. All right, so I still have my WhatsApp turned on right over here. Okay, so we have set up everything already. All right, so now let's get them to the app over here. So this is Wondershare Mobile Trans. As you can see, this is how the interface looks like after you have activated the license right over here. So uh, Wondershare actually sells a couple of licenses depending on what kind of features that you actually want. So this is the full license that they provided me. So you get a couple of things right here such as WhatsApp transfer, line transfer, phone transfer, and a backup and restore feature, which is actually very functional if you ask me. So of course, we're going to go over to WhatsApp transfer right over here. And next, now, this is pretty impressive here because you can actually uh, back up and restore a couple of chat apps right over here, including WhatsApp Business, Line, Viber, Kick. Um, WeChat is not really necessary, but if you really want to do so, you can kind of back up all your WeChat chats right over to your PC, which is actually pretty convenient. All right, so what we're going to do next is to tap on the Transfer WhatsApp Messages uh, button right over here, this really big button. All right, so um, of course, it's going to guide you to turn on uh, USB debugging settings on your Vivo phone. So we're going to do this right now. So it has provided a pretty uh, simple guide, which I'm going to activate it right now. All right, so I've en enabled USB debugging on the X70 Pro. I'm going to tap OK. So what's going to happen next is that there is an allow de de USB debugging uh, pop-up. I'm going to tap on allow and tap this always allow from this computer so that um, the app has full access to your Vivo phone to install any additional extensions that it requires. Uh, it's pretty safe. I can tell you that I've tested it before, so don't you be too worried about security. All right, so connector, as you can see, it has already installed an app called Connector onto the X70 Pro. I'm going to tap on OK. So um, on the iPhone, now there's a pop-up right over here. It asks me to enter. Um, yep, here's the pop-up uh, that asks me whether I should trust this computer. So I'm going to tap on Trust and enter my PIN code. 
right? So there you go. So this is what happens after you have authorized access on both of these phones. You can see that you can choose a source data phone and a destination phone. So on the source here, I'm going to pick the Vivo X70 Pro because that's where we're going to transfer from, all right? So the destination would be my iPhone. And once we're done, we're going to tap on start. And just wait for the magic to happen. All right, so it asks you whether, please confirm whether to keep the existing WhatsApp data on Warren's iPhone. All right, so I'm not going to keep any of my data on my iPhone like I've already deleted from my iCloud. So I want everything from my Vivo phone to be transferred over to my iPhone. All right, so I'm going to tap on no because the transfer speed is going to be way faster. All right, let's do next. And now let's wait for the process to happen. So here's a pop-up from the app that is going to ask you to turn off the online backup on your Android phone, which is needed because it is going to back up all your existing WhatsApp data over to your Android phone's local storage. So let's do it right now. Let's head on over to settings, chats, and let's go over to chat backup. Make sure you never back up to Google Drive and tap on the backup button right over here. So I have about 2.6 gigabytes of WhatsApp data, which is actually pretty small if you compare to many of those are the people who use this WhatsApp really heavily. So, all right, it's a pretty fast process. I've uh, finally backed up all my files onto my local storage and let's check next. And hopefully the magic will begin right now. All right, so it's 100% right now and install WhatsApp on this of specified version. I have no idea what is that right over here. So I have already installed WhatsApp on my iPhone here. So I'm not sure what's going to happen, but let's just wait for any pop-ups that's going to happen if it really does all right so it's moving on to the next step already activate the app and restore the app okay finally the second pop-up comes up so it is going to ask you to uh, complete the settings on your android phone by enabling access to the storage space which is actually quite um funny because i already have that on all the time all right so one thing that i find it really really cool is that because it has usb debugging enabled on my X70 Pro here, it automatically goes to the setting that it wants to, all right? So it automatically goes into the app info page, which I can manage my app. So I'm going to search for WhatsApp and follow the steps accordingly that's on this screenshot, all right? So over to on the storage here, I'm going to enable. Oh, it turns out I even have my um, storage permissions enabled. So I'm just going to tap files and media, allow management of all files. And I guess uh, that's pretty much about it all right and let's just tap next okay so let's hope it works okay it has started up whatsapp again it seems that it has kind of like removed my app right now all right so there you go login so please follow the instructions video to operate on your android phone so and your whatsapp data will be transferred securely and complete all right so this is where i need to enter um my phone number again i'm not sure what why is this happening but if it works, then it works, all right? So I'm just gonna enter my phone number on my phone right now. Next, tap on OK. Oh, I know what this is. So it has install. it is installing an older version of WhatsApp to perform the transfer because basically if you install the latest version of WhatsApp, you will not be able to like back up your messages locally. So I guess this is what the mobile transept is trying to do over here on my Android phone. Right, let's just allow everything and just wait for the message to come over. Um, my SIM card is in the iPhone, by the way. So let's just wait for that message to come over to my phone. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna type on it. Okay, so there you have it. This is what happens if you have an older version of WhatsApp installed. So there's no, um, there's no restore from Google Drive or whatever, but it is restoring the backup from your local storage. So let's tap on restore um, accordingly to the, as for the app over here. So you can just tap on restore. It's 51 megabytes of data here, so it should be pretty fast. All right, so once I've seen all my chat history, I'm just going to enter my name here, Warren. Next. It's going to initialize for a while, so this is I'm doing just according to the app, so it's going to take a little bit of time, so be patient with me. So once I've seen all my check records back here on my X70 Pro, I'm going to tap on next. All right, so let's have the app do its magic again.
Okay, now we are on the fourth step. It is backing up all my WhatsApp data onto my computer. So as you can see, there is no data being uploaded to the cloud or any of Wondershare servers. So it's absolutely safe to use the mobile trans software. All right. Okay, so there you have it. We have finally reached the final step where it is going to back up data on the target device. So please log in with any WhatsApp account on the target device first, which is my iPhone 13 Pro over here. So I would assume that you can actually sign in with any number that you want to. But as a precaution, I would suggest that you use back the same phone number that you registered on your original device. All right, so let's log on to WhatsApp on my iPhone here. So I'm going to tap on OK. Um, because I actually previously have something in sign up over here. So let's tap on agree and continue. I'm going to use a different number here. All right, I'm going to enter back the original number that I have on my, uh, on my Android phone. Tap on done. Yes. Okay, so I've recently requested for too many codes. So I'm going to tap the call me button. Hopefully it calls me and give me the verification code. And now it, I have successfully verified my phone number on the iPhone 13 Pro. I'm just going to tap on any name here. All right, done. So apparently I have some existing data right over here. So I'm just going to tap on um, login successfully and continue. So the next step that it is asking me to do is to turn off find my iPhone on my iCloud settings, which I'm going to do right over here, find my. And I'm going to turn off Find My iPhone. So this is some kind of data protection that is happening um, right over here on my iPhone. So it is necessary to turn off some data protection features momentarily to have your WhatsApp data successfully transferred over. So let's turn off Find My iPhone for now. I'm going to turn back on right after. OK, so I am done right now. And I'm going to tap on Retry. OK, so there we go. It's generating uh, restoration data. Okay, and now we have reached the final stage where it is going to restore data right over here. So, you know what? I'm just going to clear off all my chats here to show you guys that it works. Okay, so I'm just going to go over to chats and I'm going to um, clear all, delete all my chats here. Okay, just to, um, just to show you guys that it actually works. Okay. Okay, so... By now, it should be clear and simple. So let's wait and see if it really transfers all the chats from my Vivo X70 Pro over the iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, apparently it restarted my iPhone already. So that is kind of a normal sign if you're restoring something to any iOS device, it will restart the phone. But the moment of truth is going to happen once we fire up WhatsApp on the iPhone 13 Pro, okay? So I'm not able to do any screen recording on my iPhone right now because it is currently booting up. All right, it has successfully booted up. It didn't break my iPhone, thankfully. So let's just unlock my iPhone right over here. And I'm going to start a screen record to show you guys that it actually works, okay? So give me a moment, all right? And let's do a screen recording on the iPhone 13 Pro. The restoration process is done on the Mobile Trans app. Let's go over to WhatsApp, moment of truth. Boom! As you can see on the earlier screen recording, I have cleared all my WhatsApp chat and everything from my X70 Pro has successfully been restored to my iPhone 13 Pro, all right? Let's just even find out if photos work as well. So let's go over here. There you go, even photos are back in place. Oh my God, this is just crazy, it works. The Wondershare Mobile Trans app really works. Um, the process is, can be a little bit overwhelming for some who, are, who is not really experienced with going to phone settings and all those. But you know, once you follow the steps properly on the app, I think it's pretty straightforward, even for a amateur tech person. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much on the first look of the uh, Wondershare Mobile Trans WhatsApp transfer software. And hopefully, this tutorial has helped you in getting your WhatsApp data transferred from your Android phone over to your iPhone or vice versa. It works both ways. But before we end this video, I want to show you guys um, a little bit more about the Mobile Trans app because we are still rolling right over here on the screen recording on my PC. So um, let me just show you guys a couple of features right over here. So once you 
actually backed up the WhatsApp data on your Android phone or your iPhone. So you do actually save a copy of your WhatsApp data onto your computer here. So uh, once you tap on this um, restore to device here, you can see that there is actually a backup that's saved from my Vivo phone. So over here, if you go to the state, you can even see all your conversations on your computer, which is actually pretty cool. So this actually means that I can actually restore all of these chips into other devices that I want to. So I would have to say that this is a very, very powerful WhatsApp transfer tool. It is also pretty secure because like I said, it doesn't upload any of your data up to uh, Wondershare's servers or anything of that. So yeah, it's a pretty good app and I think it's totally worth that $30 price tag if you are really serious about getting your WhatsApp chat and data transfer over to uh, another operating system. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much about my first look and a tutorial of how to transfer WhatsApp from your Android phone to your iPhone 13 Pro, the iPhone specifically. So that's pretty much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on KL Gadget TV. And be sure to subscribe to us because we do really appreciate that and you know, to thank us for uh, teaching you in this video. So we really hope that you subscribe to our channel and follow us on the usual socials. And I will see you guys in our next video.